Hi, we're making skulls. Yes, we are. They're creepy, but very easy to make. Join us. Hi, this is Tweek. A year ago, I got an idea at Halloween for an easy decoration. It turned out so well that somebody said to me, well, how did you make that? Very simple, using household items, and let me show you how. We're going to make skeleton heads. And you start out with white cardboard. Any color of cardboard would be fine. Then I traced the pattern that I'd cut out, and then I cut out the pattern, and here we go. So, so far you've got a piece of cardboard, a pencil, and some scissors. Now as you cut it out, don't worry if the cardboard bends, or if it rips, or if it's jagged, because that just makes your skull look all the more creepy. Discard this part, and now we have a skull head. I'm going to draw in the face with the Sharpie. Just trust yourself, this is not a big deal. We want two circles for the eyes. To draw two circles. Look at, they're not even even, that's okay. Then we want a nose of some sort. How big a nose you want is up to you. For the teeth, I drew three rectangles. There again, random. And then you go across with one bar that goes behind. And those will end up being your teeth. Now I want some cranial lines along the sides. So I'm just gonna draw in. And we want a couple lines going across, furrowy lines going across the head. And there you go. Look, it's so simple. We're halfway there. Now I'm going to take a gray crayon to just color in this cranial area. It's going to make a shadow. We've got that part in. I'm going to color in the teeth too with the same gray. I'm not even trying to stay in the lines because any of the mess ups you make add to the creepiness of the skull. Next, we're going to use the marker to run circles around the eyes. This again, very random. I'm just going to go round and round. You can fill it all in. You can leave white spots. It doesn't matter. This is a hollow eye socket. And how would you like to look? You want more of hollowness? Add more black. If you want less, make it a thinner line. There we go. See how random? I'm going to pull this one a little more to try to match the other side a little bit. The nose. The nose, I just want to go kind of thick. I'm going to cut out the center of that nose. So you're just taking the triangular shape and just going around it. Easy peasy. Don't worry about making mistakes because you really can't on this project. Next, I'm going to use the X-Acto knife and I'm going to cut out. You could do that with the scissors too. And since I'm cutting into something, I'm going to get a piece of board just to protect the table or whatever your surface you're on. If you're using an X-Acto knife, you want to be very careful. So I'm just going to place the X-Acto knife in, push down, and pull, which is going to make three slices. It doesn't matter if you go out of the it's triangle. That's fine. And pop out the nose. Okay. Get rid of the X-Acto knife. And I'm going to use the marker to just fill that in a little bit. Don't have to. I like the looks of it. Next, we need a highlighter pen. Or I like to use the gel crayons. They're just kind of neat because they have a neon color to them. I'm just going to go around the inner circle and leave some of the white in the center. This is all about reflection of when the little candle's set into the eye, you get the glowing around the candle. So I got pretty thick on the yellow there. And I'm gonna come down here in the teeth. Let's give ourselves a little more. And I'm just gonna come on either side to add some highlight in his teeth. All right, what's next? This is coming right along. I'm going to take my Sharpie and I'm gonna add a few lines 
just little highlighter lines, just random little scrapey marks along the teeth to give some shadow. Almost done. Look at how simple. Let's put all this stuff away because we're done with it. Now you need a couple of the eyeball lights and these are just regular candles you can find at the store. You can buy them. I think they pretty much come in six packs but not that expensive and I'm going to do is poke them through but I'm going to use a scissors and I'm just going to poke anywhere through wherever you want those eyes to be and I'm just going to make a hole. I just want to push the candle through. It'll just pop right through. And not only does it pop through but it stays in place. That's nice. Let's do this side. Poke through. Anywhere in that eyeball you can set these eyes. And that's kind of cool because some of them are looking this way and some are looking that way and they're all creepy. So I've got this one. I'm going to poke it through. Ah, got it. Next, turn it on. We're almost done because if I'm going to put him outside, he is technically done, but I'd like to protect him a little bit. So I took a regular gallon food bag, food storage bag, and I put it over his head. And I just use a little bit of tape. Let me wind him up a bit. And I'm going to use a little bit of tape to hold that in place. What you have then is a weatherproof skeleton. What I did last year was I put them through our bushes out front and the kids came through and they saw the skeleton heads looking at them. That's it, done. I made about 18 of these in an hour, so get some cardboard and make some skulls. Very fun. So today we created the skeleton head, but I also had some fun. I took the same design, only miniaturized it, and made little skeleton heads. And what did I do with those? I turned them into a wreath. This is all recycled materials, packaging that came in, cardboard, except for the candles. You'll have to find some of those to make this wreath. Ooh, and I added a creepy spider, just because I like the looks of it, don't you? So if you like what you've seen here today, we're all about skulls. Subscribe to our channel, give us a like, and leave a comment. This is pretty creepy, but fun. See you again.